Lantern and friends. We're going to make this cute little centerpiece. This is going to be a great item to decorate your desk at work with or give to friends or co workers. Just a, an inexpensive, light little um, decoration that could be stored away till next year. So think about that as we're working on him. So the first thing I did was I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up an inexpensive pumpkin. And this one had decorations on top. And I don't know if I'm going to use a flower. We'll get there and see. This other one had a pumpkin, a little pumpkin on top. So I may leave that flower. We'll look at him in a minute. And then I have a slice of wood. And the reason we want the slice of the wood is to anchor it to help it have weight to hold the piece down so it's not top heavy as it get knocked everywhere. So that's uh, the reason for the wood underneath it. The skeletons we're at the Dollar Tree. There's four for a dollar. They come in the black and the bone colored. And I think the black really shows off a lot better in this. And we're going to manipulate this little guy and move him the way we want to kind of move him around. And so the first thing I'm going to do is make him kind of look... Well, let's work on his legs first so we can get them done. I'm going to be using my heat gun or embossing tool. Um, don't try using a blow dryer. It's not going to get warm enough on a direct enough area. So we need this tool. Just be really, really careful. It's very, very hot. And don't overdo the area because then it just kind of melts and gets gummy. So I'm going to start by heating both sides of his knee joints. And you can see I'm going back and forth between the two and he's not ready yet you can feel when they're ready you don't want to break them they're just going to bend nice and easy so we want to kind of have them in a sitting position and then we're going to dip them in ice water once we've got them in that position and what it does is kind of freezes it, fast, fast freezes it, because if you leave it while you just warmed it up, it's just going to kind of come back up. It doesn't do it all the way, but it works best, so much better if you put it in the ice water. Let's see if we've got that. No, it's not quite there. I have kind of heard them almost, almost like you're breaking a bone. So you'd rather have the plastic moving all the way and not forcing it. So there we go. And that's starting to move a little bit on top. We don't want that, so kind of flatten that back out. Okay, so we've kind of got him in a sitting position. Now this arm, I'm going to take him out a little bit. And his shoulder one, probably because there's less there, is the easiest to kind of move around a little bit. So I'm going to take him out just a tad. And I'm also going to do the arm in just a little so he looks more natural. And I have been doing a lot of videos with the skeleton. You have to see him. You have to check out the skeleton's bath. It's one of my favorite ones and it's so simple to do. So we've got that a little bit more natural looking. So this guy, I'll take his arm out a little bit as well. Dog him. And then we're going to bend his hand up like he's waving at us. No making bad gestures with him. So 
not allowed. So we kind of have him like he's waving there. Kind of get him in the position you want. And he needs to... to get the idea. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. Just keep your water away from your electricity. I'm creating thunder and atmosphere here. All right, we're going to work on our little pumpkin. This guy had a little bit more face room than the one that I currently have. So we gotta be a little bit careful with that and try and get our eyes and everything in there. And I'm going to be putting it on with wax design. And the one thing about wax design is um, it goes on really easy on the foam. You can kind of just slide it around and color it in. You guys are used to doing strokes with it. So I'm using a number two tool, the small end. And I'll go into a little bit more detail what it is in just a second. And you can see I'm just kind of sliding this around like we normally don't. We just do a stroke and that's it. And it dries so fast. But I see I've got a solid eye already. And it's so much easier than paint. And it's going to dry really, really fast. Now, if you're not familiar with wax design, go to my website at miriamjoy.com. Not only are the tools all going to be there, you're going to see the link to my YouTube. And the first YouTubes that pop up are how to do the basics of wax design. And what it is is Crayola Crayon. So you have all these great, wonderful colors at a fraction of the cost. And... Just by changing the crayon, you change the color of whatever we're working on. Now, like I said, this slides around and is a little bit easier than what we're used to kind of working with. You're usually just used to kind of putting one stroke on at a time. This is a little bit different for us. So we're kind of just using it to base in. And color in. And this just uses a fraction of a crayon just to give you an idea. All right, so we've got the basic part on. Now this particular thing, I did them a little bit more um, like stitches. So I'm going to use my zero tool now and I'm gonna pull down and then we're gonna come back in and we're gonna do just kind of like stitches. daughter was a big fan of the nightmare before Christmas and so we're also going to kind of do some around his face now normally with wax design you load every time but when we're doing smaller ones like this and it doesn't matter if they're the exact same size we can leave it and do a couple at a time. So I'm going to do some around his eyes just to give him a little bit more life. And I'm going to add some dots. And you can see it goes from big to little. 
And I'm just going to do that on one side. And I don't think I'm even going to put any around his nose because we don't have as much room. But I'm going to do that up the sides as well. Now we're going to go back. I'm going to put one up his nose. We're going to go back and we're going to add the highlights to his eyes and his mouth. You guys have seen in some of the videos I've been using little skeleton hands. The skeleton hands would also look really cute on this pumpkin. You could put those on him as well. I'm trying to get all my black off before I jump into my white crayon. White you have to stir a little bit more when it's been sitting a while. Now because I'm working on black, I don't want to push very hard because I don't want it to melt and come up from underneath. And usually do not go back over a stroke. And if you want to put a little sparkle or kind of a little twinkle in his eye, you can do that with uh, white paint. Just water it down and do that with liner, um, a liner brush. And we're going to put a little bit of highlight in his mouth. And just a tad going up his nose. And I'm going to give him a dot right there as well. Okay, so we've got a cute little face on him. At this point in time I would take him outside and spray varnish him real well and if you don't want to get it on this it wouldn't hurt them. Just spray varnish it just like that and set it down and and let it dry. So we're going to pretend that we already varnished him and we're ready to put him all together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue him onto my wood piece. And I'm going to use just a little bit, not too much moss to give him kind of a natural looking. Just here and there. If you're using a bigger piece of wood, you can use a little bit more, but just kind of to break up the wood piece, make him look a little bit more natural. Not a biggie. Now, you can use whatever you have around the house to decorate with or whatever you find outside. So don't be afraid to use what you have. So I'm going to take my skeleton and look at him and when you were bending these parts you also could have come over here and set him down and see if you needed to bend it a little bit more or not bend it a little bit more whatever you kind of needed to do we want to set him where we can kind of see him but you don't want to cover up his face a lot I'm going to glue a raffia bow right behind him And we're just going to use what we have and build on it. It's not great, but it's not bad. By the time we get done with it, it'll be really cute. Glue our little skeleton bum so that he is sitting down. Watch that little hand. He may have to bend him a little bit more so he's not pushing into the pumpkin. Keep that in mind. Okay. And then I'm also going to use some other leaves as well in here to brighten it up and fill it out. What we have on is okay for a base.
going to put him in there before we sat our pumpkin down too. That would have probably helped a little, a little bit. Now you could put whatever you want on here. I have some little pine cones. I'll put those on here. If you need some little pine cones, give me a holler. We might have some of those we can help you out with. Now on the front, I'm going to put some acorns. These are falling off the tree like crazy around here this year. And I'm gluing both the lid and the body of the acorn so that one does not come unattached from the other. And one more right there. Probably I'm going to quit. Got to see. Using our flowers, our base, but we don't want it to look so bad that you're that or take it off. Now, a little scarecrow, excuse me, skeleton. We don't want to take away from him. So we're going to put little spiders on him as well because remember, he is our little friends over here. So our little spiders that come in the pack for a dollar. I've got bigger ones and littler ones. And I'm going to put one on his lap. Fun thing has been getting it out of there. To help kind of fill that in as well. Now that's what he needs because he was missing something. And I'm going to look at putting a bigger one over on this leaf over here. And maybe a bigger one down at the bottom. And I need this guy to turn a little bit more towards the front. Let's see what we can do with him. While we're letting that guy dry, we're going to glue these on. You can use the different colored ones. That's better. So we've got him climbing up on the base. And then we also need one behind him in the bushes somewhere here. And we're just about done. Leave your spider webs if you want to with all your spiders, or you could remove the spider webs. That's up to you. Okay, there is our little jack o' lantern and friends, and just a cute little arrangement. Like I've been trying to tell you in the videos, use what you have at home. Don't go, you know, trying to purchase a lot of new stuff or what you find outside. There's amazing what we can find up and use, so don't be afraid to do that. And for any of the wax tools, please visit my website at miriamjoy.com. The YouTube link is there. They'll take you over to the wax design videos as well as all the fun Halloween videos that we're doing this time of year. I've had so much fun. Thank you for joining me today. God bless. <laughs>